the Golden City, South Africa's Johannesburg. 70 years have brought a small township to rank with the world's richest cities, and it's still growing fast. A center of gold mining, of industry and commerce, Johannesburg creates enormous wealth. More than one person in three has a car, a fact reflected in the city's design. This is a city of trees and parks. There are 270 of them, ranging up to the 136-acre zoo. In the warm evenings, it's one of the delights to sit in the parks, listening to an orchestra while watching the children play. But around the boundaries of the city are huge testimonials to the energy and effort with which man has created Joburg. The mine dumps from which the gold has been removed. An 80-mile stretch east and west of Johannesburg contains the reef, a layer of rich ore which produces 8 million ounces of gold a year. To get the ore, miners have to dig it out a mile below the Earth's surface. European engineers mark out the areas to be developed and then native crews take over the drilling and excavating. A well-trained team works in shifts to drill the rock and load it into the trucks which move to the main shaft and to the surface. Mines like this one at Bleivorizicht make South Africa one of the largest gold-producing countries in the world. In fact, two-thirds of the West's gold comes from these fields. But mining the ore is only a small part of the process of extracting the gold. Once hauled up the mile-deep shaft, the ore goes to a crushing and screening plant where all the waste material is removed. After complex chemical treatment, the gold is ready for smelting. In this foundry, the men are smelting the gold, which will then be cast in gold ingots. Inside the furnace is a crucible holding the molten metal, and it's now time to bring it out. Down the centuries, the precious metal has been smelted in a similar manner to the processes used today. For thousands of years, gold has retained a curious fascination for mankind, and has given immense power to rich men. In the 20th century, it is still the basis and security for many currencies. These ingots weigh a thousand ounces, over 60 pounds each, and are valued at 12,000 pounds. Here, you're seeing a quarter of a million pounds. It's not surprising that thick bars of that much more common metal, steel, protect these ingots of rich African gold as they go to the vaults. As dark as the earth, the gold so recently left. Millions of pounds worth of gold comes out of Joburg each year. With this wealth, the people of the city live well and happily. Truly, this is the finest of all the world's golden cities.